Welcome, everyone. I'm Pastor Noel, and we are on Common Ground in the Common Ground tractor shed, or sometimes I call it the Jesus Workshop. I think this is where it's where the magic happens, um, but it doesn't probably feel very magical. Uh, this don't tell Ranger Jean. Her real name's Jean Young, but we call her Ranger Jean. Don't tell her I'm sitting here. Um, this is the sacred tractor. But there would not be a common ground without um, without the team that works with Ranger Jean and uh, works out of this out of this workshop to keep the trails open, to keep the grass mown, to um, building and repairing fair stations, just countless building bridges, quite literally. Um, like this is, you know, uh, it's not by chance that we are followers of Jesus, who was a spent most of his adult life as a carpenter. He spent most of his life in a workshop, and um, yeah. So this is. This is holy ground too. But I want, I want to tell you the story, a little bit of the story of uh, Gene Young or Ranger Gene. Uh, there would be no common ground without, without Ranger Gene. She was um, a postal worker in Cramerton. And when she retired, she said, you know, I'm, I, I, I do not want to spend my retirement baking and sewing. Um, Jean loves being outdoors like that's her passion and so she asked the church for permission to start opening up trails on common ground like when I first came here 13 years ago this campus was inaccessible uh, and the vast majority of it is a surprise to people that have never been on the trails the vast majority of this campus is is wooded we have we have several miles of trails uh, on this campus, and and those trails were opened by Jean Young, who started on her hands and knees um, with a, some hand clippers and just trying to find the paths that were already here in a sense, right? Not taking down uh, any large trees or anything, but just snipping through out of curiosity like what is on this this campus and along the way she has opened up numerous trails and other people have come and joined her but but in the beginning and all along the way it's been Jean Young uh, there wouldn't our neighbors would not be able to come on this space and uh, and find connection to God and neighbor and creation without the dusty, sweaty, uh, often painful work of Jean Young and her team. I, I cannot, it would be impossible to, to tabulate the thousands, the tens of thousands of hours that Jean has, has put in this place. There will come a day, I believe, in glory, right? When we will know the truth, the truth of who God is and, and God's life, but also the truth of, uh, of our life and the impact we've had on other people's lives. And I can't wait till the day to see the long line of people that are stretched out to speak to and to thank Gene Young or their ranger gene. Um, I wonder in heaven, will she have a tractor? But um, Jean would be the last person that would want to speak in public. She's never preached a sermon, probably never taught a Sunday school a class, wouldn't be the kind of person you would hear preaching about Jesus on the street. Um, but but Jean has, is is an incredible evangelist, a servant of God, uh, a preacher. And she has preached through her actions, her humble actions of service. 
as she's opened up these trails, she said, she said to all of us, right, come, you're welcome, right? You are welcome here on this, this common ground, this holy space of God's, and, um, and you belong here. So don't take my word for it. Come out here, walk these trails. And when you see a lady uh, driving an orange tractor, more comfortable on this than she, she is in her own car, um, introduce yourself. And uh, why wait till heaven to tell her thank you? Um, because without her, there would be no common ground. That's how God works. Like God doesn't do all the work. Without God, there would be no common ground. But that God had chooses to, to work through simple, ordinary people um, who are in fact quite extraordinary. They look ordinary, but they are the most extraordinary people. And Jean Young would not think of herself as extraordinary but she maybe is the greatest evangelist outside of maybe somebody like a Billy Graham. She's one of the greatest evangelists that have ever partnered with God. And it's a blessing to know her.